G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, today I'm doing a bit of brazing. I'm working on a project for model engine. I have to make the camshaft up, very narrow camshaft, to go on the crankshaft end to control a valve for a flame liquor engine. Now, to do that, we're going to profile the cam lobe out of this stuff. And it has to be narrow, it doesn't have to be really wide. We're going to keep the inertia down so we're not you know going to have a lot of vibration so we'll be grinding this shaping it into the cam lobe shape a bit later on and to attach it to the crankshaft we have to attach to what will eventually become the camshaft lobe uh, a retainer this is just machined up out of some mild steel I've drilled it, cross-drilled it, once again with that little 775 motor, uh, it's a brilliant thing. And I still have to tap the thread, but I'll tap the thread after I've done the job to join it. Because I'm going to bra bronze braze these together. Now, the bronze braze stuff, you know, you used to use some bronze rod, and you've seen it before in my videos, and you use some flux. That's it. Now, people rely on capillary action to actually get the bronze to go in, so they, you know, would, a lot of people just heat that up and then they'll run bronze around the edge and hope it will capillary under, which it, it will do to some effect, to some degree. But the best way to do it is not do it that way. The best way is to do it this way. You turn it upside down, you heat up your retainer, and you put a bit of flax on it and then you run the rod around it. You key it. Same as you would do when you're soldering stuff. And you do the same thing here. You heat it up, you put a bit of flax around here and then you run the rod around and you key it. Now once you've keyed both of those components you then put them in the position you want like, like that, get it all centred Bearing in mind you've got bronze on both sections, both portions, and then you heat it up red hot with the torch again. That will remelt the bronze. The two components will then fuse together. And you should get a reasonably clean weld, a uh, you know, brazing job. Certainly better than if you try to capillary it in. And depends on how you know you go getting the bronze on. When you put the bronze on, when you're putting it on, initially to key it, I always use a little bit of wire. I've got a bit of wire I've used <laughs> a zillion times. So once you get your blobs of bronze down on, you then move it around, work it around so you can spread it without putting too much bronze on. You do the same here. You get a couple of dobs of bronze on the job, and then you move it around with your wire. Then you use long nose, long nose pliers to put it together because it will be hot. And then you just do the final reheat mill. So that's what we're going to do. And you can just see how it works. It's quite simple, really. We'll do the two together so we don't waste any heat. And uh, once things get hot, we might as well just keep going on with the job. So we'll get on with it. Now, to do this, you can use map gas, or you can use oxy LPG, or you can use oxy acetylene or you can use the bullfinch torch which would do bronze brazing and you know it's one of the few LPG purely LPG torches that will and I've used this in lots of my videos it's the best money I've ever spent as far as you know cheap to run torches so we'll get on with the job now and uh, yeah actually I'll uh, I'll come in closer on it for you
job done. Now you noticed I used at one point six mil rod. These are very easy to use. They're easier than the 2.5s. So this is the size rod I'd advise you to get. And here's the job. And it's all lined up pretty well. So now it's just a matter of let it cool down, clean it up and it should be uh, good to go. That's how easy it is. Brazing is super easy. It's, uh, you know, it probably looks a bit daunting to some people, but it's not. And uh, once again, you've keyed both the components. That will be a 100% strong job. And, uh, well, I'll clean it up and show you, but then I'll get on with the rest of the job afterwards. But for now, that's it. So we'll, uh, we'll let it cool down. We'll let it air cool because I've got a tap of thread in this. I don't want to work hard in it. So, you know, if you ever tapping threads or you're ever brazing, you always think ahead, think of well, what am I going to do next? Am I going to be wanting to tap in this metal? And uh, certainly you don't want to go chilling it. Um, it could make it harder than you want for uh, the next process that you're going to use. So there's a finished job. Turned out okay. 100% bond. You always get a little bit of spill because it runs very easily bronze and uh, well it should, you know, if it's not running well it's not hot enough. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. And uh, yeah, job done. So anyway, there's something for you to think about. This is how you want to do finicky work, fine work, and uh, the beauty of it is too that you can always disassemble it. You just reheat it and it'll all come apart again. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's good stuff. That's it for me. I'll see you next time. Cheers.